Hey guys, we're already in week two of the AU season. First game for the week is the Reds versus the Rebels. The times will be shown here next to me. If we do look at the two seasons so far, it is short. Yes, the Rebels, they haven't played so far. They had a bye last week. As for the Reds, they had quite a convincing win last weekend against the Waratahs. Didn't expect that win to be that far though. On history, it is pretty even for the two sides, so nothing to split it really there. I think the Reds, they have won two games uh, at home against the Rebels on the bounce now, so they would want to make it three in a row. Guys, if you haven't joined the Super Brew Pool so far for this season, do do that down in the description below. Also, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of the previews this season. Looking at the two squads... Only one change for the Reds and that's probably the one they should have made in the start of last week. I still don't know why he wasn't started. Tupo at number three joining Xander and Malfi and that just really improves their front row. You saw he came on at just after halftime and their front row really just did better there. Murphy, he did well last week from line-out time. A couple of overthrows for the team, but mostly a very good game for him. The front row for the Rebels, also a good one. Farmasili and Ulysses, both of them were part of that Wallabies squad last year. So both of them have something to play for to kind of get into that squad again. Farmasili, you will remember, he gets that ball from kickoffs, that uh, goal line kickoffs, and he runs it into players. Hopefully we see Tupo versus Famasili somewhere in this game again. Ielof, he gets his first start for the Rebels. Good to see the South African born player there. In the locks, I really thought Blythe and Uru did really well. Uru is actually a number eight, played well at the locks last week. Cummins and Hosea for the Rebels. They have a pretty, a pretty big competition in there because the Reds secured most of their balls at line out time last week. At the loose forwards, we have Brad Wilkin, who is vice-captain this year for the Rebels, versus Scott Young. Great game for him last year, uh, last week. McWright, also a great game from him last week. He's just so good at stealing the ball from the ruck. Hardwick, he was pretty good at the end of last season. We'll see how he gets into his stride at the start of this season. Michael Wells, pretty quiet last season, in my opinion. Versus Wilson, who was just so busy again last week. It's a couple of those little flicks that he tries to get off that didn't work. Usually it would work, but maybe this week and week two it would work a little bit better. Number nine, I think that's probably the big battle in this game with McDermott versus Joe Powell, who is probably the star recruit for the Rebels. Uh, the Wallaby who came over from the Brumbies to the Rebels. I think it's a smart move. He's going to get a lot more game time because... Let's face it, if he stayed at the Brumbies, he's going to be on the bench for Nick White the whole time. I do think he's a bit better though. Sorry. But anyway, McDermott, good game from him last week. He is that guy that tends to snipe more and run a little bit more than he tr tries to get the ball out wide and pass and kicks it. Uh, O'Connor at number 10, also a brilliant game last week. You saw what the veteran can do. Up against Matamoa, also a veteran. Both of them captains, very rare that the two number 10s are captains in a game. Number 12, Reese Hodge. Interesting that he is at number 12 because uh, after last year where Rennie kind of used him as the number 10 for the Wallabies, I thought that maybe this year he's going to be utilized as a number 10 for the Rebels. We can maybe still see that. Up against Hamish Stewart. Stewart had a pretty quiet game last week. Um, didn't he go off injured sometime? Can't remember now. Paisami at number 13 versus the debutant Illy. Uh, they say we have to look out for this guy. I don't know. You can maybe let me know. At number 14, Pattaya versus Anderson. Pattaya, quiet game last week. On the other hand, on the other wing, Daigunu. Very, very busy game last week. We saw again what the try scorer can do. Versus Korea Betty, who's also a prolific try scorer. At number 15, Pincus for the Rebels. And Jock Campbell for the Reds. The Reds also changed a couple of guys on the bench for them with a couple of debutants as well with Wallace and Vanivalu coming in. That guy you have to look out for. He's from League. He's a League convert. He has a lot of games uh, for Melbourne Storm. So I really am interested to see how he does in the Union and I want to see how he does for the Reds because let's face it, last week he was... A, 
he was out of the game because of disciplinary issues. That is kind of a thing that happens a lot with the Reds players. But let's see how he does. They do say he is a prolific scorer. For the Rebels, they have Craig, who is an ex-Reds player, who is the hooker for them. Uh, the hooker reserve for them. Liotta, also a guy to look out for. Lomani, he's at number 23. So, looks like he might be utilized at Scrum Off or on the wing this week. Guys, if I have to make my pick, the Reds, they played really well last week. I would say they'd win again this week. Rebels, I don't know too much about them. So, it is a bit of a blind prediction there. So, sorry if I do underestimate them a bit. But I do think the Reds to win this game by... 14 points let me know your prediction down in the comments below also remember to join the super brew pool down in the descriptions check out these videos hit the subscribe button and then i'll see you for the next one cheers Bye.